the pip step is parameter that calculate minimal distance between two market orders in pips uh, in non-indicator models or for example you're using some indicators and for some reason price go down but robot dedicate or some indicators give you a buy signal for some reason because you set up so for example there uh, they are buy signal but robot think that need to open some buy position in grid models for example robot open here 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.2 for example 0 0.3 lot size in buy uh, the signal think that it must be retraced and robot doing some greed. So what is pip step? Pip step is the minimal distance between two levels of the greed of the previous and next orders in pips. In our case, it's a 10 pips, as we discussed now, 10 pips. 10 pips, but only in case this is a non-indicator modus or it's a uh, only market orders you don't use pending or this type of orders we discussed this already or you use some non-indicator models or uh, constant buy signal when price go down robot will open uh, next position he will calculate 10 pips and he will open new position there i will show you example uh, with non-indicator models with tester one pair so we will turn off control limit stop in files we will not use any indicators we have to turn off indicators there in this area so the pip step will be 11 pips and we will start to test it uh, only in uh, trade sell files trade buy True. We will, we will look only at buy orders. When price go down, robot must open uh, only buy orders. We will take a look minimal distance between orders. Let's see how robot works. Uh, as you can see, the blue line is the uh, dedicate. Uh, break even level in total break even level of the serial of the grid and the minimal step between two orders is 11 pips as we just calculated it between two levels 11 pips between every level we tested that every tick this is why it shows us exactly 11 pips between orders if you will test at uh, other model you will not see sometimes that's basically how it works pip step for buy orders when price go down robot calculate 11 pips he using parameter pip step to, uh, when he must place at this level after 11 pips next level of the grid serial uh, robot closed this uh, minimal profit it's called last tp function we will take a look at this later so basically robot did three percent of the profit only using buy orders in non-indicator models as you can see there are also five or even six levels only 0 0.01 lot size but after this he start to add 0 0.01 the minimal start to make some greed or even sometimes people call it martin gale he increase the lot size to to take this break even level closer to uh, current price if you will not rise lot size this break even level will, will be at the central of the serial right here but when you start to rise lot size the break even level follow your current price much more closer to this 
this is how it works now i can show you also i can show you how robot works with sell orders in non-indicator mode same as with buy but other direction we have to turn on sell you can use it also by the way in this area let's take a look buy and sell together sell must also use pip step because it's non-indicator modus we test red line is a break-even level of the serial uh, sell serial we also have a green line. Green line is a total break-even level of this pyre. When uh, total break-even level, uh, he calculate when he add sell and buy uh, break-even levels with each other. For example, if price will go this area, it will be a profit. After this green line, if you will not open or will not close any orders, if price will touch this green line, it will be zero. Uh, point of the profit after price will more go down you will see more profit this is a zero break-even level for your account uh, in case you trade only one pair it's it's show only for one pair at current chart that's the way it works with sell and buy sell also use there is a sell orders Sell also have distance 11 pips between each other. Now let's trend. Selling by continue works. Two directions. Robot doing some profit and collect some new balance and equity grow step by step. Robot also have some overlap function, but uh, when he use new profit to kill old orders that stuck in, for example, price go down, but some orders stuck upper, he will use new profit to kill that old orders. We will discuss it later also in function overlap. So basically, what we not discuss it uh, with this parameter pip step. Uh, that some indicators can grow this pip step so that's only a minimal distance between two orders of the pip step if you will place if we will place pending orders this pending pending orders will uh, filter this pip step and will make them bigger they will make pip step bigger Pending order filter. As you can see, sell stop moving. If price go down, robot trailing this sell stop. Once price touch it, it will became a market order. And sometimes it can grow a pip step. As you can see, there was a sell, but he placed a sell much higher than 11 pips, almost 30 pips because it was trailing stop of sell sell stop type of order and in this case pip step grow but it's a good filter for some uh, non-predictable jumping of the price very popular strategy when only start orders in non-indicator modes uh, will be a pending orders with filter but after price touch them you set up market orders uh, it will be using in type of orders uh, when only start order in serial will be a pending order but after this uh, robot use market orders after them we already discussed this but as you can see there is bigger distance as 11 pips when you start to use market order uh, uh, pending orders uh, when you start to use pending orders comparing with market orders we show exactly 11 pips but this is example with filtering of the pending order so now we're gonna look how uh, indicators can change pip step because of the signal 
filtering and I have added usual chart I have added some water indicator uh, what I can teach you now save this template as tester uh, when you press button of the tester at next uh, chart that will be open from tester you will see this indicator with robot that's easy to use so uh, what I do I use one pair I use sell and buy sell and buy I do not use control limit stop and I must check what indicators is on I own indicators at first level of the grid and at next levels of the grid all other indicators must be off I must check it as you can see TMA is in default on I will turn off it as zero and other indicators must be also turn it off CCI off zero zero water number one uh, this time frame must be type one one time frame basically I just need this time frame to set up first time frame and other indicators off now robot must start to work from this indicator now tester will add my template and robot started to work uh, sorry I using I using pending orders I need the market orders to see how it works Let's take a look how indicators can modify signals. As, as you can see, no buy because there is a sell signal. And sell can work 11 pips, but no buy during sell trend. I don't think uh, we can see this uh, some some modification of the pip step in cell area right now but we see that there is, there is no buy orders because there is no buy signals suppose we would have some in, uh, buy there but we can test it from from 3 September in some faster faster modus like this let's take a look at this there is a cell 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 I want to see some fil filtration of the indicators in pip step cell with 11 okay There is a buy sell not working. As you can see, this is filtration of the pip step. There is no sell. Once robot will show us sell signal, uh, imagine this filter. There is no sell because up area buy signal. Let's wait some sell signal and buy will stack up here. Buy can work because this is the buy area right now. That's example of the filtration of the pip step. There is no orders because pip step grow because of signal. Robot tell do not open any cell. There is first first cell because he wanted to refine the indicator. In this area will be there is a cell cell started as you can see buy not trade there was a try of the repaint of the indicator in this area there was a first cell this is why and totally trend in cell no buy signal That was example of the filtration. 
Pip step. Balance growth, no overlap because of setup. So, and robot doing uh, trading only in indicator area. Okay, I think that's enough for pip step. I hope you understand that this is a grid parameter and it's a minimal distance between two orders. Minimal because it can grow sometimes from indicators and from uh, from some painted orders that filter our, our jumping in candles. And sometimes robot trailing this painted orders as an additional filter.